Good morning. It's a nice, sunny, pretty day outside. You can already tell it's going to be a hot one. So today, we are going to go to church. Jack didn't get in until like 2 last night from his homecoming fun. We're going to go to church. Excuse me. And Trevor's got baseball practice tonight. And I think we're going to make some cookies and cook and do some stuff like that today. So it's going to be a good day. I hope you guys have a wonderful day too. All right, Lucy, we're heading out to church. We'll be back in a little bit, okay? Okay, bye. Okay, we're heading to church. Jack's meeting us there. He had to go pick up his truck this morning, so um, he's running a little behind. seems like this really intimidating book that only scholars or theologians or pastors could truly understand. When we, when we look at it, it's a very large book and we just think, how can I possibly read it and understand it? But that's just perception. The reality is the Bible is so accessible. It's filled with truth and application for our lives. Even though it was written thousands of years ago, somehow it still has power for today's culture and context. It's an incredible thing. And so we've taken a lot Thank you. It's a pretty day. All right, we're home from church. Lisa was playing in the water in the pool, so now she's drying off. Okay, hey guys, we just got home from church and 
we're gonna have breakfast for lunch and I'm not just making my normal breakfast. I'm gonna make it a little different today. I'm making um, biscuits and some venison sausage from a deer that Russell got last year and some scrambled eggs and bacon. So, oh no bacon, because I'm making sausage. Just biscuits, scrambled eggs, and sausage. So, yay, all right. Okay, I'm gonna make a couple sausage patties. And luckily I have my gloves. Make a couple sausage patties and then I'm going to make the rest of it like ground sausage because the boys really like breakfast tacos. So I'm make a couple like patties for Russell. And then the rest of it I'm gonna just do as ground sausage um, so that I can make them some breakfast tacos. Lucy, why do you always wanna go outside right when I have gloves on and I'm in the middle of cooking? That's so annoying. She's ringing the bell. Lucy, you're gonna have to wait a minute, sweetheart. I can't do anything for you right this second. I'll make three patties, I guess. Um, the good thing about the breakfast tacos is I can keep them in the fridge and the boys can eat them for like breakfast this week. Um, so I'll just make a lot and then put them in there and they can just warm them up in the mornings before school. And that's good breakfast for them. Keep them full for a little while. Okay, um, yeah. I'm just making kind of small patties because they're just to eat with the biscuits, like a sausage biscuit kind of. Okay, done with the gloves. Love the gloves. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna go take Lucy out. Poor little Lucy, I was cleaning the pool and she fell face first, like she was like leaning over. You know how she does, y'all seen her. She leans over like she's trying to see what I'm doing. Well, she fell face first into the deep end of the pool and she like went under the water and then came back up. And of course my first instinct is just to grab her, but it's not good for her. She needs to know what to do in those situations. And we, we, she swims a lot, so she knows where the stairs are and all that kind of stuff. So I was happy to see that, you know, she went under, I could tell she was scared because she doesn't usually, like when she swims with us, we don't put her head underwater, you know. Um, but I was happy to see that she came back up and she swam all, like all the way across the pool to the stairs and then got out. So she was definitely a little scared, but I was proud of her that she knew exactly what to do. Obviously I was watching her super closely the whole time, um, but yay. So she she definitely took a dip today. <laughs> all right, we're frying them up. All right, I got the meat all ground up. Now I'm gonna make the eggs. I'm starting with six eggs and we'll see if I need to make more. I'll scramble them up. The eggs are all scrambled up and ready to go. And right, I'm going to make the breakfast tacos. I'm just going to put a little bit of sausage. And then roll it up. All right, I got them um, in the fridge and ready to eat whenever the boys are ready. Hey, you guys. I mean, we were just talking to you for like two minutes and I wasn't even recording, so it's fine. Okay, I just woke up from a good nap. We're gonna make right, some cookies. Hold on. We use the Toll House recipe on the back of the semi-sweet or the milk chocolate or the dark chocolate. We use all three. They're the same recipe. What? In a large mixing bowl, beet butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar. Oh. Okay, get the rest of the butter out of there on the shelf. We use Crisco butter. We use Crisco, yeah, this stuff. Let's show you. We use this instead of butter. So we double the recipe, so we're gonna use two sticks. There should be another package of brown sugar in there, hopefully. If not, then no, we don't have enough. Yep, that's brown sugar. All right. So we're gonna unwrap the butter. Okay, where'd you put your socks that you took off, Jack? 
on the floor. Yeah, that's not the way. <laughs> on the floor was what he said. It's not where they get. Which one do you need first? Yeah. These three yeah. big. Huh? On these three sugar. big. Sugar. Um, sugar right here. This is flour. This is sugar. That's sugar. That was flour. Six fourths cup. No, three fourths plus three fourths of meat. Six one and a half. Six fourths. Wait, it's simplified. Six fourths, which is one and a half. All right, so go ahead. No, no, there are the farm cabinets under the deep. Because this is a half of a cup, so we do a half of a cup three times. If it's one and a half, we do three times. Okay, you go ahead and do it. We're tripling the recipe? No, we're doubling the recipe, but it asks for three fourths cup. Three fourths cup. Make sure it's yeah. There you go. Pour it in. Yeah, but we can move that. You can't move that. Just pour it in. Tilt it this way. There you go. I feel like I'm like I know how to cook. You know how to cook. <laughs> I already had cooking class. You're a cooker. Last year. It's true. He did take home economics last year. So. No, I took skills for that. That's home economics. And then just a tiny bit more because that one was a little low. A little. Not that much. Not even that much. That's and that's, that's fine. Okay. And that's good. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with brown sugar. Is, are we done with this? We're done with that one. So you can put it away. Clean up. You have to use this. You don't have enough. We're gonna right, use the rest of this. Open this up and dump it all in. After I use the rest of this. Why wait. not? That way, keep wait, the wait. freshest only. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. Okay, so on brown sugar, you have to pack it in like you. I know. You can't just do it like this. You have to push it down so that you make sure you have. I know. See how much less it is when you push it down? Yes. He knows, folks. He knows. Okay, after this, we're cutting hair. So after this, you're going to go get in the shower so I can cut your hair, okay? This good? Yeah, it's good. It looks like it's overflowing. It's okay. It's so you can make it a Good one. Got my hand. I know it's gonna make your hand dirty. You're gonna have to go. Lucy's standing underneath to make sure she gets to lick up anything that's. That's good. That one's that one's good. Oh no, that's probably gonna be too much. Okay, that's good. Perfect. But that's good. Yeah. Two. Nice. Now one more. It's just fun because the other ones are Yeah, they were a little fry. Yep, that's good. All right, good. Now go wash that cup out in your hands. Perfect. All right, we got the sugar, brown sugar, and the butter. Let's see what's next. Next is vanilla. How much vanilla? We do one, one, one teaspoon. So we're going to do two teaspoons of vanilla. I just kind of with my heart. One. Mom, come on, you're not that sweet. Two. I like vanilla, it tastes good. All right, we're gonna mix these up and then go to step two. Drew, it was not funny at all. Okay. Don't Drew stop. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's time to put the eggs in, so let's quit throwing them in one at a time. I'm not gonna put it, I can't, I need more space. I'm just gonna do this at work. I need more space. I'm gonna do it on this back even worse. Just add them one at a time, beating to me. Sure. Faster. Egg yolk, and still see egg yolk. Alright, egg number three. Oh, ew. It was good, but I, yeah, I actually spilled some egg yolk right there. That's okay. So good fun. We don't have all perfect for we should have Two and one fourth cup. Two cups. And so we're doubling. We need two and one fourth. This is one cup. So I can do two of these and one fourth. We're doubling it. So I'll do four cups. Four and a half cups. Two and a fourth plus two and a fourth equals four and a half. I'll just do two one fourths. 
Is that enough? Mm, hold on, like it's kind of. I literally got. You did good. I'm just moving. You moving here? Yeah. Okay, here we go. You just have to. So you get it in there, and then you kind of use this to make it like a flat teaspoon. How many tries is it gonna take you? <laughs> take a lot of tries. One. We're gonna do two because we're doubling it. All right, and then salt, same thing. Two teaspoons. Oh, a little extra. That's all right, we like salt. Like okay. it? Yep. So the just slowly. Don't dump it all at once. I remember. But you gotta actually dump it. I feel like it's all gonna come out. Okay, it's a good thing I have my hand there. <laughs> okay, you got it all. And that's one. You gotta remember. One. Oh, Drew. Oh my gosh, there's flour all over the floor. <laughs> yes, there is. Yes, she's hungry. No, she just eats flour. She like it too. Much messier when you make it with a teenager. Oh, you might need to clean your shorts. Oh, we're gonna have to clean. It was all over your shorts too. Go wash your hands. Let's see what So we use all three types of chocolate chips. We use dark chocolate. We use just like a half of a package. Should be more. This one was a little less than half because someone what? eats them all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he acts like he doesn't know who I'm talking about. Just let me show you this is the best. Um, y'all get me the scissors so I can open them. Open them. I will. These are already open. Where's my scissors? Nope. Just don't get scissors. No, make sure we're not eating them. Make sure we're not eating them. Uh-huh. I need stuff in the mouth. Uh, that's enough. We've already got all this. Mm. Is this too much? Yeah, we already put them all in there. We don't need any more. Oh. I think I'm not putting them in. Drew, close the bag and no more eat chocolate. Mm. Okay, we'll do that. You put stuff over there. Yeah, I'm going to put um, non six. Oh, no, I'm not going to use the parchment paper. I'm just going to put the non six tray. Oh, I like when you at least leave one tray out of the fresh cookies. Because that's the ones I don't I like to eat. Like I like to eat them better when they're fresh. Yeah. So like don't bag them up. Before you bag them at least let me know. Right. Okay. But I'm gonna, I'm still gonna eat a lot when they come in. Okay. Alright, where's our cookie tray? You didn't heat both ovens? Finished product. You tell me, how are they? Good. Well, did you try it yet? Turn around. I already have one. No. Oh. You did good. Okay, mm -hmm. why don't you go get ready for your haircut? No, I can't no. even see your eyes. <laughs> to head out to Trevor's baseball practice. We're cooking tonight. We're making fried venison 
fried okra and corn on the cob. And we're obviously still baking our cookies. So the kitchen looks like a tornado hit it because we're trying to get everything ready for the, there's our okra and squash, fresh okra from my mom's garden. And then the venison, Russell, while I take Trevor to practice, is gonna like prepare all that. So I'll show you guys as we cook. All right guys, we are heading to take Trevor to baseball practice. Good times. Can you say hi, Trevor? Hi. Doesn't even matter if it's not his fault. We brought Lucy with us and she's very excited to be here. She wants to jump out the window. Look at her little tail. You can't jump out the window, Lucy. <laughs> you want to go with them? They gotta go by themselves. I know. I'm sorry. She wants to go so bad. You gotta go home with me. I'm way home from baseball practice still, but I stopped at Target to do a pickup order. Lucy still wants out of the car. She wants to go play with everybody. Anyways, I'm doing my pickup order, then I'm gonna go home and we're gonna make dinner. Where else, where is the other pepper dispenser? It is right there. Just the same kind of pepper as that? Uh-huh. Okay, so we got some venison. We got two things of oil going. We got that for the corn. We got all this venison over here that we're gonna make. Got our okra with salt, pepper, and cornmeal on it. And we're ready to start cooking. We've almost got one tray done and then we've got like three or four more trays to go. I think we overcooked. I pulled out too much. We're making quite the mess. That's what happens when you fry stuff. Drew's not doing a very good job with Lucy, but at least she's not laying under our feet anymore. half of it already as we're going. you guys it was a fun day we hope you had a good day 
and we will see you tomorrow. Lucy's gonna say bye. Lucy says bye. Yeah, stretch it out, Lucy. We love you guys. Oops, we love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.